Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few tips that I've been trying on my iPhone 11 over the past several weeks of using iOS 13.5 that has helped me improve Bluetooth, Wi-Fi connection, and cell connection on my iOS device. Now, over the past several weeks, as iOS 13.5 was in beta, I continue to test these options that I'm gonna share with you guys, and they truly have improved overall the network connection, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. So I thought, why not share these with you guys, right? So now, usually when we have any network issues, we tend to turn on airplane mode and turn it back off, hopefully reconnect, and get a better service on our iOS devices. That sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Or we go to cell connection, we turn data off and turn it back on. That also sometimes works and sometimes it does not. But what if you have Bluetooth issues and other issues with connections on your iOS device? This has worked for me and let me show you. You want to head on over to privacy. Then you want to go to location services right here and we want to scroll all the way down until we find system services at the bottom right here. Now on any iPhone, if you're having issues with the network connection, for me, turning off the cell network search has worked. So turn this off here for approximately five to 10 seconds. This would actually research for any networks around you in order to reconnect and give you the better connection as possible right there. So cell network connection, turn it off five or 10 seconds, come back. And this actually has improved the network connection when I've come across any issues over the past several weeks on iOS 13.5. Now, if you're having any Bluetooth issues, any uh, hotspot issues, as well as network issues on your iOS device and you own an iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max, there's a new option here under the system services as well that's called networking and wireless. If you turn this off here, you see there it says turning off location for networking wireless may affect Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the ultra wideband performance. Now you wanna go ahead and turn that off momentarily again, five to 10 seconds, and then once you're done, you go ahead and click it back on, and this has overall improved the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection on my iPhone 11 over the past several weeks of using iOS 13.5. I hope you guys enjoy these tips. Thank you for watching. Let me know if they work for you. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you real soon. Peace.